Hello, my name is Gilbert Simoni and I'm a board certified gastroenterologist in Southern California and founder of Advanced Gastroenterology Inc. In this video, I'm going to discuss a non-invasive wireless and catheter-free device called a Bravo pH. A pH test measures the degree of acidity in your esophagus. Fortunately, we have the capability to offer you a wireless and catheterless way of measuring your esophageal pH, which is much more comfortable that is called the Bravo pH monitor. The Bravo system involves a pH capsule about the size of a gel cap that is temporarily attached to the wall of the esophagus. The Bravo pH capsule measures pH levels in the esophagus and transmits the data via radio waves to the Bravo receiver worn on your belt or waistband. The capsule begins measuring the pH levels of the esophagus immediately. The receiver houses three symptom buttons and you'll be asked to press the corresponding button when you experience heartburn, regurgitation, or chest pain during the procedure. You also will be asked to keep a diary and record periods of sleep and eating during the procedure. Now, how the procedure works. When you're ready for your procedure, you will be asked to sit or lie back while I place the capsule into the esophagus after numbing the back of your throat with a spray. The placement procedure is simple and well tolerated by most patients. After the study, data from the receiver is entered for analysis and to aid in the diagnosis and to plan for your treatment. The disposable capsule will spontaneously detach and pass naturally through a bowel movement a few days after the test. Now my staff will review the Bravo instructions. So Dr. Simone wants you to have a Bravo capsule placement, okay? What the capsule is, it's a capsule that is attached to a wire, okay? Um, that wire will be guided down into your esophagus and it'll sit six centimeters above the sphincter in between your esophagus and your stomach, okay? With suction, it'll suck a little piece of your esophageal mucosa and it'll skewer. Okay, within 30 seconds, he will release the capsule and take out the wire. So it's just the capsule that's sitting in your esophagus. I see. Okay. Um, it is a 48-hour recording time of how much acid is really coming up. In that, those 40 hours, you will have a receiver and a diary with you. Okay, on that receiver, he will have several buttons for several symptoms and on the diary he wants to know when you eat and when you lay down, okay? You have no limitations what you can and cannot eat, it's just your normal diet that you think that would cause the acid, okay? The only thing though is that you have to stop your PPI or your proton pump inhibitors for seven days before the procedure, okay? Um, in the meantime, though, you can take something over the counter like Zantac or Mylanta or Tums. Okay. Also, you have to stop five days prior to your procedure. Any aspirin products, blood thinners. Okay. That includes any ibuprofen, Aleve, etc., and Advil. That includes any multivitamins with iron or fish oil. But Tylenol is okay if you need it for pain. Okay. Also, if you do smoke you have to stop smoking five days prior because that is a blood there as well, okay? You're gonna drop off the receiver within 48 hours and then um, the capsule itself will fall off within three to five days, okay? Do you have any other questions? No, that's it. Okay, come on up.